Hello friends, I'm Laura Barat from lauraburatastrologer.com and today I'm discussing the card of the day for May 10th, Sunday, which is also Mother's Day here in the United States. So I want to say Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Okay, so today is the Nine of Diamonds. There's the Nine of Diamonds, see? <laughs> kind of a neat card, okay? And um, this is a very interesting kind of peculiar card. The reason that is, is because nine is a an extremely spiritual number. And diamonds is a suit of phenomenal reality or um, possessions, concrete things, things in the actual world that have to manifest in flesh or, or, um, in material, you know, actually take up space, things that take up space. Okay. So that usually equates with, uh, possessions and money in the bank. And, um, but it also equates with self worth and how we feel about ourselves and, and how we, uh, how worthy we think we are and the confidence in our skill set that brings in material abundance and material possessions. But nine is a very, um, a number of extremely high intuition, uh, psychic, um, psychic talent. It's the nine of diamonds is the card of astrologers and psychics. It's also uh, a card of very strong intuition about people, really knowing people and being able to read people without being able to explain it that well. Okay. Um, and so it's kind of a weird card because the material world is one through set, one through seven. And, and what we go through, everything we go through in, in the phenomenal world and, and making our way through life and making in all of the different aspects of that, all of the ideas, the career, you know, our health, our physical and spiritual well-being, um, and, um, you know, our relationships with everybody around us, pets around us, our relationships with anything, even our deity or our spiritual path. Those are all the other suits, but nines, they all kind of, um, gravitate toward the diamonds, which are material things that take up space. Okay. And nine, so that's one through seven going through life is basically one through seven. And at the six, um, that's the best the material world gets at the six. And then at the seven, everything ends or things are transformed. Things are, are lost and then regained. And then the whole cycle starts over again. Now with eight, nine, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Seven is the end. So the material world ends at the six because the seven is the actual end. So seven, eight, nine are, um, numbers of very much of the inner journey and the inner experiences and how open we are to the source or how open we are to experiencing natural phenomena as an expression of the source or God, if you want to call it that, or whoever your deity is or the presence, you know, whatever it is that you kind of describe this feeling of connectedness that's that begins at the seven. It's a journey and it ends up at the nine. The nine is actually what they call, um, a divine friendship. So you feel this special connection and because it's a diamond, you feel a special connection to everything in the world, all the phenomenal world. If it's a spade, you feel a connection to yourself. If it's a heart, you feel, a connection to your chosen spiritual path, your deity that you give yourself to. And if it's a club, you feel a special connection to knowledge. If it's a nine of clubs. Okay. Um, and knowledge is how you, you get closer to the source and how you have a divine revelation. Now with the nine of diamonds, you have divine revelations with material things, people, um, and a deeper connection to reality. You can see how everything is connected. And 
you're able to see through all the bullshit if you if you want <laughs> when um with what's going on in the world okay and um so these people are highly intuitive not only about other people but the situations in the world okay and they understand where it's leading to and where it's coming from and why it's happening um so extremely wise okay so this is the energy of the day see looking at all of reality and seeing how it's connected okay um and another thing about the nine of diamonds is because they have this such an intuitive connection to reality and really are able to dive deep into the re reality of situations they usually do end up having a lot of abundance in their life okay and the and um they don't know why they can't really explain why they have such deep insights into things but they um and sometimes that can put people off or people don't understand where they're coming from or may even think they're a little crazy in some in some instances but as life goes on they are able to acquire abundance nines are usually about a waiting game okay Nines are divine friendship. So usually at some point in their lives, the world is ready for what they have to offer. And that happens later in life. Usually, not always. There, there's, there's some, um, mitigating circumstances, obviously, with the planets and astrology combined with the cards and that's the whole cards of truth system but i'm actually talking about the uh energy of the day today i don't want to get too much into if it's your birth card but that's what i'm explaining is more of the energy of the day okay and um and so yeah that's that's what the nine of di nine diamonds represents nine is the end of kind of the cycle and then you have a new cycle and you have the whole path again with the number 10. But, um, but anyway, so a nine of diamonds is kind of a difficult card because it mixes the material with the spiritual. And that's the energy of today, of this Mother's Day. Okay. In America, anyway. <laughs> All right. And so, um, it also is uh, a very charitable card. And the reason it's charitable is because you have a divine connection to reality and phenomenal things of this world. And the abundance is able to flow through you. You can be charitable and then more will come because you have that divine connection. Okay. Um, and, and this is the energy of the day. Things are flowing very nicely. It's a nice flow. Okay. Um, so this is a really interesting card and it also is a card that shows you everything deserves everything in your life that you are responsible for that you have to take care of all of those things are special everything is special everything in the world there's no nothing is less special than something else and everything is extremely unique and so that means that everything in your life deserves your care and attention. Okay. This is the, the, uh, the best expression of a nine of diamonds. Not all people who have nine of diamonds as their birth card is going to reach the, that, um, highest expression. That, that's just the way it is on earth. But if you're, if you're moving towards that, then you are fully expressing your nine of diamonds energy. All right. Um, and that can be in material abundance, but it also could, can be in your, uh, highly attuned intuition and, um, and just your, uh, wisdom and which the world needs as well. <laughs> and then also through, um, just realizing that one that's at some point in your life, the world is going to recognize what is flowing through you and what you have to offer because all nines are kind of a weight. It's a little weight with a nine. All right. So, um, so that's what the energy of the day is for a nine of diamonds. 
Okay, so now there are three forces behind every card, the creative, sustaining, and destructive force. And um, they are related to the planets of Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And it's also related to the cards of Jack, Queen, and King. Okay? Because um, in the cards of Truth System, you have a spread and every... Um, Every position is ruled by a planet, except for the ecliptic card, of course, and the birth card. But the last three are the outer planets that we do not see and are, are these types of forces in our life. Okay. So the Uranus card, the card that will enable new ideas, situations, things of the day, that come into existence. This is all the beginning related to Brahma, the creator. This comes through the energy of the Queen of Hearts. Oops, let's see. It's a little bit of a shine on that. Okay, so the Queen of Hearts. Okay, um, now the Queen of Hearts is a, a card of new things will arise during the day because of your commitment to relationships. And that just doesn't mean romantic relationships. It means all types of relationships to your children, your parents. It's Mother's Day, interestingly enough. If you're, you know, cooking something for your mom, new, new things will come into your life because of that connection. New, because of your connections that you work on, that you sustain, new things will come into your life. New ideas, new people, new situations, new business opportunity, anything new. So, um, so with your relationships that you, um, that you are nurturing, uh, you will realize something new or something new will manifest. Okay. The Queen of Hearts is, uh, the, the uh, card of relationships, of connections. And it could be, you know, anybody in your family, your spouse, your lover, your pets, your, um, your relationship with your God or your spiritual path, whatever that may be. So that's how new things will arise through the day. Okay. Um, and also it, it will also come into being, new things will come into being through established art, artistry, like um, art, painting, drawing, music, performing artists, dancers, actors. That's all hearts. Now, the um, it's hearts because it establishes a relationship. To It's like uh, an outflowing, an outpouring of what we have in our heart and our emotional energy. That's what art represents. That's one aspect of the art. Another is the diamonds. But the aspect of art where we're creating art, then that is new things will arise today because of that connection to our artistic creative side. Okay. And, um, okay, so that's, that is the creative, uh, new energy, new things coming into being the Jack card or the Uranus card for today. Now for the Neptune card, we have, this is the sustaining energy, the maintaining energy, the energy that's needed to grow things and make them come to fruition. That today is the 10 of clubs. Okay. See, that's the 10 of clubs. <laughs> And um, so the tens are a path. They are actually a combination of the ace through the nine. They're all they, the ten encompasses everything, and it's like juggling. You can you can pick which one you want. And clubs are all about career, your work, your knowledge, your ideas, reading, communication, social media. Uh, what basically clubs represent what you're doing what you do during the day and your business. So that sustaining, nurturing energy 
comes from sustained activity. Sustained activity is the 10. And uh, from ambition. And um, it's it that that sustaining energy comes from the work needed to get what you desire. The work you need to do to um, acquire the diamond. That's what clubs do. Club, clubs are like the path to the diamond. <laughs> the work you do to get what you want, basically. And the, all the learning necessary that is part of that process. And um, it also the you'll sustain things, things will grow because of communication in all forms. That is, um, you know, social media, anything where you're communicating, talking, writing, whatever it is. And also that um, things will be grown and nurtured by your ability to change and adapt. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that's the 10 of clubs today uh, for the Neptune card. And now for the, for the Pluto card, this is the destructive force. This is the destroying, eliminating force that gets rid of things that are no longer needed and no longer useful, whether you're attached to it or not. All right. And that is the eight of diamonds. Do you see that? Try to get the glare off of it. Okay, so that's the Eight of Diamonds. Really interesting card as well. Um, and uh, so what is, le it's a lucky card. The Eight of Diamonds is a very lucky card. The, so is the Nine. They both are. Uh, the Eight is actually about, all Eights are mirrors, meaning they are cards of mirroring back to us what we are inwardly expressing because it's the diamond we're inwardly expressing our self-worth how we feel about ourselves and what we have to offer and what we think that is worthy you know in this world and um and usually that has to do with skills and how well you know we can offer things to the world and um so that eight of diamonds really the world will show us how we feel about ourselves in regards to our worth. Okay. The world will give us how we, how worthy we think we are. The world just shows up and shows us exactly, um, you know, what, how we feel inside. And eights are, they are very centered on themselves, but they need to be that way. They need to be that way because they're trying to work out inside what the world is showing them. So um, all eights are kind of so very self-reflecting cards and they want to go deep within the reality of a situation and see how it is playing out inside of themselves and vice versa. So that's what the eight of diamonds means as a birth card, but things get destroyed today because of that aspect. So that means that, um, so things are let go of, things are taken away through the agency of luck um, by everything coming together in synchronicity. That's another eight of diamonds trait where the world lines up for you. It's, it's like, okay, now it's time. Everything's lining up. I'm ready to do whatever it is I need to do. That's an eight of diamonds. That's why it's considered a very lucky card. You don't experience any type of uh, obstacles. So um by the world doing that for you something is going to be let go of in the in today okay um and also things are let go of because you recognize your self-worth uh and that can be anything you know you it can be a very big deal in your life like letting go of an abusive relationship and it you know whatever kind of relationship that is a friendship, a love affair, um, family relationships, you let go of something because you finally realize your self worth, and that you don't need whatever that is in your life anymore. Okay. Um, and or even quitting a job. I know that you know, everybody's getting laid off right now. And which is very much a tragedy. But um, anything that is, is, uh, 
you realize you don't need and it's sloughed off and it's just taken out of your life and it can be done where you don't want it to be either. But that that is, uh, it's done not to hurt you, but because that's what is needed during the day. Okay, so that is um, today for the uh, for the nine of diamonds and um, great card, really interesting card and uh, happy Mother's Day to everybody again if I said that already. <laughs> okay, so um, thank you for watching. Bye.